Okay, are we good? We look good? Yeah. Do we look great? Yes, do we look fantastic? Hi friends, welcome to Happy Adorning, the place where we feature real women doing rad stuff. This week we are featuring Sheena Yatanis, who has created an amazing lipstick line. She's an entrepreneur, she's a mother, and we are so excited for you to be here. Thank you, I'm excited to be here too. Thanks so much for coming. Thanks for having me. I want to know uh, why lipstick? Because color is my passion. Okay. So lipstick was like the perfect place for me to bring in both my backgrounds, which are in art and in science. It's like a crossroads between formulation and between like mixing paint. I started out with Kosas wanting to make a brand for women who wear their makeup more naturally. I have been seeing more and more, and I've been seeing it for a long time, of, of people doing like this very heavy makeup look, yeah. a lot of covering, a lot of contouring, a lot of like changing your face shape, and like yeah. people are so amazed by that, but I really don't believe in that. Like I really believe that we are great the way that we are, and we don't need to change our face shape. You are gonna put your first face forward whenever you step into the world. You should be put together, but you don't need to hide. Right. So that's really what this brand embodies. What color are you wearing right now? I am wearing rose water right now, which is like pretty much my go-to. It's like the greatest color for moms on the go because you don't need a mirror to put it on. None of these are meant to be anything that you need to put on perfectly. Like you just put that on pretty quickly. Right now you're wearing yes. fringe. I'm wearing fringe and I love it. With no lip liner or anything like that, you don't yeah. need any of that stuff. That's kind of the whole point. It's like meant to make your makeup routine simple. Yes, and they feel really nice. It's packed with three different kinds of butters. So there's mango butter, shea butter, mm. cocoa butter, and then we have a bunch of different oils in there as well. So it's like that combination of the oils and butters and then like oils yeah. evaporate and they all evaporate at a different time throughout the day. So Ooh. like as each one kind of pops off, yeah. you get another burst of hydration. It actually feels more moist as the day goes on. How interesting. That's the science for you. Ooh, science. <laughs> and do you have a background in makeup? Uh, yes, actually. My growing up, my mom worked in the beauty industry. So okay. she ever since before I was born. So like at my house, instead of toys, we had boxes and boxes and boxes of makeup. Come home from school, play outside, and then go play with the makeup. Nice. And it was extremely fun. So I would I would just be like experimenting. I knew like the names of every single lipstick and every brand that was out there by the time I was like eight years old. <laughs> nice. So you said you had a background in art. What exactly does that entail? Painting, mainly drawing, pencils, colored pencils, oil pastels, anything, anything to do with color. Really, really into color. Really into color. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a favorite color? Yes, yellow is my favorite color. Oh, nice. Yeah. It's a really bright, nice color. It's a really bright, it's the color of optimism. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Person, place, or thing, what is your biggest creative inspiration? My biggest creative inspiration comes from places, actually. Okay. I'm so amazed by civilization in general, mm -hmm. the fact that like we all have found all these little things to do, and like every single shop you see, every single storefront you see, somebody had an idea, and they went and they got a place and they put their thing yeah. in there, and now they have a business. I mean, that's amazing to me. Mm -hmm. And so I get so much inspiration from that, just seeing how people live. Do you have a favorite city? I love LA. Oh. I do. Hey. I really, I feel like this is the best city in the world, but I also love Paris. There's no, no place more inspiring. It's like a, it, it, the city is a piece of art. What's it like to be a mother and an entrepreneur at the same time? Gosh. Well, you become really good at keeping a schedule. Uh -huh. <laughs> I thought being a mother was the hardest thing in the world um, until I decided to do both at the same time. You get pushed to your very limits. Turns out you can go a little farther. Let's talk about the women in your life. Do you have anybody who's been like a really big influence on who you are? My daughter has been like the biggest learning experience. Just watching her figure out how to be a person yeah. is miraculous. Do you have any advice for girls that may be looking to get into the makeup world or who want to start their own company, do something like you? 
Look at what you like to do on your free time. Look at what you are doing when someone's not telling you you have to do something and do that. Like keep doing that and then know that that's your talent. So believe in your talent and don't learn too much. Learn just enough so that you can be slightly ignorant when you're going in because that's when you're the most fearless. And just go for it. I mean like, what's the worst that can happen? Also do think about what's the worst that can happen. Imagine it. And be prepared for it. Yeah, imagine what the worst thing is that's gonna happen. Nine times out of 10, it's not that bad. You're gonna be okay. You're still here. You are still here, <laughs> yes. <laughs> also just remember that nothing ever stays the same, ever. Everything's gonna change. Yes, you embrace know? change. Yeah. It is inevitable that the world will change. So the quicker you sort of learn to radically accept that, mm -hmm. the better. Yeah, don't wait for happiness because it's happening already. Right. You never know, magic is always around the corner. Yes. It's happening all the time. Do you hear that? Magic is always around the corner. Any new projects in the future? Like what, do you, what, what comes next? Right now it's January. Spring releases will be April, May. So I, I know that I need to start formulating that right now. Right. So we're gonna think about a couple new lip colors. You okay. know, we have a lot of, everything is very fall winter right now. Mm -hmm. We're gonna kind of go into a little brighter, fun things for spring. And then next we'll start doing some cheap colors too. Ooh, that's exciting. I'm very excited. Woo! Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you coming and sitting with us and sharing this amazing lipstick. It's so great. You have to go get it. You can get it online on our website, which is kosascosmetics.com. K-O-S-A-S. -S. <laughs> we'll link it below too. All of our, our tags, all of our handles are Kosas Cosmetics. We're on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Go follow them because it's awesome and you have to get this lipstick, it's a must. And please subscribe to our channel, Happy Adorning, and we'll see you soon. Thanks so much, bye.